facing your question. See the diameter of the workpiece is so this is the workpiece the diameter of the workpiece is 25 millimeter I want to face this portion finish this portion of the workpiece so this is the facing so face this portion this is my A and the center line of the workpiece is x0 and the this portion this reference line the end of this reference line is z0 and the this surface this surface is x25 so 25 means the diameter of the workpiece if the diameter of the workpiece is 30 millimeter then this is x30 if the diameter is 100 then this is x100 so my first aim is to set the x value and z value so i set this as x25 and 25 means the diameter of the workpiece and this is as z0 the left is z negative see this is the axis designation the left if the tool moves in the left side this is z negative if the tool moves to the right side this is z positive see the center line of the workpiece is x0 and the tool moves in the forward direction is x negative and in the backward direction it is x positive so this is the programming the first block this is block these all are called a blocks and each blocks are identified by n word so this is n word and this n word is called sequence number or block number so this is block number one which is identified by n005 this is block number two which is identified by n008 this is block number three this is identified by n010 similarly 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 so the n is called sequence number or block number which is used for identifying each block and this first block consists of two datas that is M03S1000 which means M03 is spindle on and which is rotating in the clockwise direction and S is the RPM so 1000 RPM so spindle run in the clockwise direction at 1000 rpm then n008 m08 m08 means coolant pump number one on. next is n010 g00 x27 z5 g00 means rapid traverse so two moves rapidly to this coordinate position this coordinate position is x27 z5 so we already know that this surface is x25 and x27 means tool moves in the backward direction and this line is z0 so the tool moves to z5 so this is the x27 z5 so this is the point x27 z5 so tool moves to x27 z5 rapidly then m020 g00 x25 z0.5 x25 means this is the line this is the line x25 so this is x25 now the tools position is x25 z5 but the 
N020 block such that tool moves rapidly to X25 Z0.5. So this is the tool's position. Then N030 G01 X minus 1 F50. G01 means linear interpolation. Tool moves linearly to X minus 1. So X0 is the center line and again distance so this is the x minus 1 here there is no phasing cut is done because the tool not touch with the workpiece tool is separated by a distance of 0.5 so the next block is n030 n040 g00 x27 z10 so x27 z10 so this is the tool's position. Tool moves to X27 is at and rapidly. Then N050 X25. So this is X25 and Z0. So this is my position. Now the tool just touch this surface. Then N060 G01 X-1 feed 50. 50 millimeter per minute. Here the material used is aluminium for aluminium the feed rate is 50 millimeter per minute so tool moves to x minus 1 so if the tool moves from this point to this point x minus 1 point the phasing operation is done on both the sides because the workpiece is rotating continuously so i just move the tool from this point the center line is x0 behind that so this is x minus 1 x minus 1 so now here this portion is phased so after phasing operation the next block is n070 g00 x30 z50 so tool moves to x30 and z15 rapidly and n080 m10 m10 is coolant pump of n090 m30 m30 means program end so this is a simple phasing operation using G00 and G01 code. Thank you.